In this lecture, I'm gonna refine the cheek and leaf area. So let's start. Move. This area seems a little bit white. Just bring them back a little bit. Okay. Add an edge loop here in between this area. It will go entirely to this area, it's fine. After adding this, just bring this edge a little bit inside. By doing this, we'll get a bony look here. The gigantic arc, this is called gigantic arc or cheekbone. So, this area should be a little bit inside, just bring them back. So, this is the cheekbone. And this area should be going a little bit down and Move them. Press 3 to check. You can see the impression of cheekbone there. Okay, fine. Then let's add an edge loop here in this area. It should go back a little bit to create that arc there okay, just move abreast this line check okay match this area with the reference mesh bring the lip down a little bit and you can see this area is very noisy this is can move a little bit to this area so just select the edge loop this partial edge loop go to mesh tools choose slide edge tool hold middle mouse and drag this is a great tool to a, move your A's or vertex without changing the shape of the object. And yeah. The lip corner always should go into the side skin. I mean this area should go a little bit deeper. And this side skin should go out a little bit, come out a little bit. There is a small muscle here, so I'll just put that impression there these are the small things you should uh, put in your model to make it more lifelike so, and always judge your reference properly so this area should go down it can see that shape here Okay, then let's add an edge loop inside the leaf itself. You can see the body of the leaf is very, it has volume, it's a, it has a round shape there. So just 
add an edge loop there and let's move it to get that volume there lower lip has more volume than upper lip so just Let's check three. See, there is my cheekbone impression. In the side view, you can see. Okay, let's on another edge loop. This time, outside to the border of the leaf here and put this is should go a little behind to create the raised line of the leaf just put that there just move a bit Can you see the raised line of the leaf? It's more defined than before. To move a vertex in its normal direction, just double click on the move tool and change this world option to component. This will uh, allow you to move your vertex in normal direction. So it's very useful for organic modeling. You can see I'm moving my vertexes in normal direction. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this lesson. See you.